What's going on guys? Money Webby here. Hope you guys did great last night. This is the lineup that I tweeted out on Twitter. It did very well. It got 151 DK points and that was with a negative 10 from Jimmy Nelson. He tried his hardest to make sure this lineup didn't do good, but it still did. We had the 39 from Carrasco. He went off and then we got the home runs from Eric Thames. Cespedes and Peralta and Zanino and Villar so that's why you gotta target the home runs guys right there 151 DK points so leave a like on the video if you're ready for this latest another juicy one some great lineups to targets but I gotta narrow down again for you guys with my two favorite pitchers my three favorite bats and my teams to stack so subscribe as well if you guys haven't to get these plays every single day and to be part of that giveaway, we're about 60 subscribers ago, so very, very close. So subscribe now before it's too late, guys, and let's get into the plays. For my first pitcher, I'm going Ryu at 9,700, going against the Padres here. Just a great spot for Ryu at home, a great pitcher's park. And the Padres, they're only expected three runs, according to Vegas in this game. So Vegas loves him, and he's been a lights out recently. 35 and 26 DK points in the last two games, and he's been getting a lot of strikeouts and doing it against teams that rare, rarely strike out, like the Giants, they barely strike out, and also the Angels, they barely strike out as well. So against this Padres lineup, they strike out a lot. So Ryu can definitely load up the Ks, get around seven or eight Ks, in this game and go around six to seven innings and get the win so you gotta lock him in next up i'm going sean manaya at 6200 going against the oreos here he's been struggling a bit lately negative five and negative one in the last two games but back home in oakland here against a baltimore team that strikes out a lot i think he can get some strikeouts and get in a groove in this game they're striking out 24.3 percent of the time and manaya just has great stuff when he's on so at 6200 if he gets on his game i think he can get a lot of dk points and return a lot of values when this game is at his when this kid is at his best he is getting ground balls and striking people out and the Oreos when they're at their best they're getting fly balls and hitting home runs so if Manaya can just win the chess game here and get the ground balls and get those strikeouts I think you honestly could approach like high 20 DK points and at 6200 that is a ton of value so I think you gotta lock them in for my first hitter I'm going Robinson Cano at 3600 going against JC Ramirez Cano is just way too cheap in this spot he's normally around like 4,000 so at 3600 we all know the power this guy has and he's going against a right hander and Ramirez that is allowing 2.07 home runs per nine and the 42 percent hard hit rate to lefties so lefties are just killing it against them and Cano is one of the better lefties in the league he has a 225 ISO against righties we all know the power is there and I think he can make that scene tonight against Ramirez get the home run to return a lot of value some RBIs you name it I think he's gonna do it tonight so you gotta lock him in Next up, I'm going Mike Moustakis at 4,400, going against James Shields. This is probably going to be a very chalky play. The book is out on James Shields, but Moustakis, just a great spot here. A lefty in Chicago, a phenomenal park for left-handed power. He had two home runs here last night in Chicago. I think he can definitely get another home run off James Shields. He's just been, Shields has pretty much has been having batting practice for lefties against him. He's allowing 3.95 home runs per nine to them and only a 14 percent k rate so Mustakis, one of the most powerful guys in the league this year can 100 percent just get a home run off him maybe even two if he sees him twice that's just how bad shields has been this year to lefties so you can definitely stack up the lefties on this royals team and Mustakis has to be a part of that stack so you gotta lock him in for my last hitter, I love Bryce Harper at 5,500. I said you can go and get whoever you want earlier, and I wasn't kidding. At 5,500, Harper is a great play going against Chris Stratton. This guy's a young pitcher, hasn't seen the likes of Harper yet in his career, so I think he has something coming for him tonight with Harper. We all know how good Harper is, just killing the ball against right-handed pitchers. A 351 ISO against them this year, and they're expecting humidity and hot weather in this game in Washington if Harper didn't need any more help he's gonna get it with the weather tonight so if he hits one in the air that's gonna ball is gonna carry with the humidity and again Stratton like I said he's a young pitcher so I think he's gonna get knocked around in this game against this Nationals lineup and that means he'll get into get into the bullpen early and then they'll just keep on piling on it's gonna be a snowball effect 
for this Nationals lineup today. A ton of runs. Vegas is expecting 6.13 runs out of them in this game. So Harper in the meat of that order. Just a must play. You got to lock him in. So that's going to do it for the plays, guys. You got Ryu, Manaya, Cano, Mustakis, and Bryce Harper. And for the three lineups I am looking to stack tonight, you got the Nationals, the Kansas City Royals, and the St. Louis Cardinals. I think the Cardinals could be a nice GPP play. Kind of overlooked. So the Nationals, Royals, and the Cardinals. And leave a like in the video, guys, if you guys enjoyed it. Got anything out of value in this one. Try to get up to 30 plus likes again. Thank you for all the likes on the videos recently. It really helps out the channel. And definitely subscribe if you haven't already to get these plays every single day. Around 60 subs to go until that giveaway. It's going to be here before you know it. So you definitely want to subscribe to be a part of that. And I wish you guys the best of luck tonight. I hope we have another great night here. I want to see you guys on Twitter. If we're going off, tweet at me, at MoneyWebby. How you doing? And definitely follow me there if you haven't already to get my full lineup every single night. So good luck tonight, Money Mob. We'll see you back here on Monday. Enjoy the rest of your weekend. Goodbye.